Hi guys, so today is, of course, August the 2nd, and today we're going to talk about how Revelation 12 of the Bible links with the Tomb Raider video games. So first of all, this dragon, aka Satan, is represented by Trinity, <coughs> and this woman is Lara Croft. So Lara Croft represents this woman. That's why they that's why Lara's got the same hair colour as this woman here. So <clears throat> even this actress, Stephanie Scott, she represents Lara Croft. And she represents this Revelation 12 woman. So <clears throat> See, Trinity's mentioned there as well, in her education. This is the academy she attended. <clears throat> the reason it was founded in 1957 is because... It represents the fifth age of the Bible, when the beast, Satan, rises, a.k.a. Trinity. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> here's Alicia Vikander, a.k.a. Lara Croft, a.k.a. the Rev 12 woman. See how she's got a V on her? For the fifth age, see? See that V there? <clears throat> See how she wears white for heaven? Just like her, see? <clears throat> then, that V is also there. That V's there. That V's there. V in Roman numerals. It means a five. So, for the fifth age. Now, in Insidious Chapter 3, there's this demon with this breathing mask. And, well, basically this demon represents Satan. The dragon. And basically... It goes back to the Schism Collective guys in Star Wars The Other Pub that were the breathing masks. And even Darth Vader, because obviously he has a breathing mask. Um, <clears throat> Darth Vader wears black for the darkness. He's got a red lightsaber for Satan. Um, now that Dark Tower movie that's coming out with Idris Elba in it, it goes all the way back to Look and Read's Dark Towers. Now, basically, it's got to do with the Twin Towers and 9-11. Because that's why they're even like brainwashing um, kids with this stuff. Do, because Look and Read is shown on the BBC. And um, it's also shown in, in, in uh, schools. So it's like a form of brainwashing. Now, <clears throat> basically, right, <clears throat> the Lord of the Rings, the two towers, just like you have, you had the twin towers in real life. And um, basically, Orthanc in Isengard and... Sauron's Tower and Mordor are basically the two towers. So, the Tower of Orthanc and Sauron's Tower um, represent the World Trade Center Towers. That is why, right? You see, um, 
this tower getting taken out right here. That represents like the tower is getting taken out in nine eleven. Cause you see like with a fire and stuff there. See? It represents that. <clears throat> see the eye of Sauron represents all of that fire. <clears throat> Yeah, that's how sick this symbolism is. Like, see? This is Smaug out of the Hobbit. The dragon. Satan. The dragon, remember? <laughs> the S for Satan. The S for Smaug. The S for Sauron. The S for the Nazi SS. The S for Suicide Squad. See the Eye of Sauron and the Eye of Horus right there. So here we have the V for the fifth age. We have the Michael. Michael the Archangel. Michael Knight. Mark Michael Wahlberg, the last knight in the Transformers film. Michael Knight, the Knight Rider. Red Dragon. Just like Satan is supposed to be a red beast. God have mercy on us all. See? We'll, we'll finish with this. Revelation 9 1 or 9 1 1. Just like 9 11. The fifth trumpet and the fifth angel. For the fifth age. Fifth angel is Satan, the dragon. <clears throat> Bottomless pit is hell. And there came out other smoke locusts upon the earth. God have mercy. Just like the locusts in the mummy films with Brendan Fraser. Scorpions. They're in the mummy films as well. And even that, um, Scorpius uh, character in Harry Potter and the First Child has got to do with this as well. Even the Scorpion King is to do with it. Even Scorpion of our Transformers as well. Even that Scorpion TV show. The locusts are basically just like the demons. Does that mean that locusts and demons are separate things, or does it mean they're the same thing? Well, <laughs> they are and they aren't, because probably what these beings are possessed by Satan anyway. Um...
and I saw a star fall from heaven into the earth. Well, that's basically got to do with like that star falling in the Doctor Who episode, at the end of time. Um, the armies of darkness rising up. The Orukai, the Orcs, the Demons, the Locusts, even Isis. It's to do with fictional and non-fictional things. Isis wear black, just like the Orukai do. The Orukai represent Isis. And I guess, like, either Saruman or Sauron, or both, they represent, like, Isis's le leaders, like Jihadi John and people like that. Here we have the Jesus character, Gandalf. Luke Skywalker with his staff. See that guy with the staff there? The Hermit. See? That represents the eagle mentioned in Revelation 12. <coughs> He's coming down to take us all away. Gandalf taking people to the Grey Havens represents Jesus taking us to heaven. Like, <clears throat> the orcs, Saruman, the Orokai. Sauron, Cream and Worms on. They're all against nature. That's why they're trying to burn the trees and stuff. You know, like they're trying to pull them down and shit. It's all, it, it all represents in real life when like human and humans are doing bad things to nature. Like everything's becoming fake and commercialized. Like even stuff to do with like transgender stuff. That's going again against nature and going against what God intended. with these cities that we're building with these new houses and, and new roads <clears throat> um getting rid of more and more nature it's disgusting what certain humans are doing to this planet <clears throat> 